Thank you for buying your plane, mate. Brought to you by Tour Striker Golf and Driven Golf. My great pal David Woods and I have spent about two years developing this product, and so far people are loving it, and we hope you love practicing and using it and developing your game. So unboxing your plane mate. Let's go ahead and take it out of its package. There's three critical pieces here. You'll want to save all of these. And you can keep your plane mate box for storage if you like. And we'll take the plane mate out of the plastic. Take it out of its plastic. And there's also a little bit of plastic on this rail. You'll want to remove that completely. Now I want you to become familiar with your Playmate belt. Go ahead and just disassemble it so you completely know what's going on with this. Take this adjustable piece away. You'll notice there's a protective piece of black felt that's actually hard to see. Go ahead and remove that from the loop. You will not need this anymore. You can discard this. So what you have here is you've got the rail portion of the belt and you've got the adjustable piece of the belt. We'll set this aside for a moment. And you've got your fitness bands. It comes with three fitness bands. Let's pull these out of the boxes, set these aside. We've got the fitness band itself. We've got the short game pitch motion band. And then the full swing band. Let's set those down. And then in this tiny little box, we've got your club connector. So here we go, we've got the pieces of the plane mate. Let's become familiar with your belt. There's a three inch piece of hook material that you can fold all the way down to the loop material to make the belt a little smaller for thinner waisted people, or you can put it at its maximum size if you're a little bit larger person. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this and we're gonna, you can see we have two D-rings. We've got the rail under my left hand, one D-ring under my right hand. Take this loop material loop it through the D-ring and fold it upon itself. Give it a bit of a squeeze and you are ready to put on your plane mate. What you want to do when you wear your plane mate, wrap it around your waist and you'll want to wear it right on top of your belt. So you can see the D-ring I'm holding in my hand, loop the plane mate belt through it and you can, I'm organizing it such that this D-ring is right on top of my belt buckle and what that does is it puts the rail a little bit to the right of my belt buckle and it works to the right towards my hip bone. And then give this a proper tug and get it on nice and secure and get it right on top of your belt and you are good to go. Now let's show you how to assemble your club connector. And naturally we want to see you get started going through the protocols. The protocols, please follow the protocol. Don't get the red band on and start hitting drivers. That's a no-no, you'll be disappointed. If you go through the protocols, you're going to do great. So what you're going to do is take the smaller of these two clips, clip it onto your club connector. It's as easy as that. Now, the larger clip clips easily onto the rail of your plane mate. And if you want to have a little bit better glide right here, a little bit of chapstick or just anything like waxy material on here from time to time will provide a better gliding of the clip on the rail rather than potentially getting snagged up after use and perhaps drying out. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to unscrew this a little bit. You've got two channels on your club connector. We're going to use the thicker of the two channels. Put this about five or six inches below the grip of your wedge or nine iron when you're hitting short shots or sand wedge. Give it a good turn. Tighten it right down and you can see that it is immediately to the right and perpendicular to the sweet spot. So it's to the right and perpendicular and from there you are ready to start your short game pitch shot protocols understanding how to use your plane mate. Now once you go through the protocols you'll go ahead and use the full swing motion bands. We're gonna loosen up the thumb screw, pull it off and what you'll do is you're gonna change bands. Simply unclick off of the club connector, unclick from the shaft and then we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna use the full swing bands click it on the rail, click it on the club connector, and instead of using the bigger of the two channels, you're going to go down to the smallest channel. We're going to put that about on that balance point of your golf club right there, and go ahead and secure that tightly. Turn the thumb screw, secure it tightly, get it 90 degrees to the face, and you are ready to do the full swing practice sessions with your plane mate. Now, 
What I want to share is that golf shafts are made differently. And depending on where the steps of your shafts are, whether you use stiff shafts, extra stiff shafts, or regular shafts, the shaft dimension at the bottom of the golf club, certainly by the balance point, changes a little bit on how tightly the club connector can secure onto the shaft. So we've got a couple of simple fixes for that. It's a one-time fix. And it, what we want you to do, if it doesn't work for you immediately right away, a couple simple things. You can take a piece of electrical tape. And what we want you to do from here is just a small little, just a piece the same dimension as the length of your club connector. You'll cut two little pieces. Once you cut a little piece, we are going to put that in the channels of your club connector. So you can see where I'm putting that. You'll put one in the bigger channel and one in the skinnier channel. Now a permanent fix for this is to go ahead and remove this bolt completely. Just go ahead and unscrew the bolt completely. Set the bolt aside. Pull out this, carefully pull out the screw and you'll notice that there is also a little spring in there. What you're going to want to do here is get a little sandpaper and you're basically going to take this and brush down, simply brush down a millimeter or two, no more, of this tiny plastic piece that's between your club connector. By sanding that down just a tiny bit, you'll be able to turn that thumb screw a little bit tighter and get a little bit better squeeze onto the shaft. That'll be a one-time thing, and once you do that, depending on your clubs, you'll be able to get an, a secure hold, and you'll find that you won't have as much movement during practice of the club connector on your golf shaft.